How does it feel to be here? Great, fantastic. It's the most important day of the year to celebrate songwriters, and without songwriters, there is no music industry, so it's a wonderful day. How does it feel to be um, at the Ivers where the awards are voted for by fellow songwriters and fellow music industry professionals? It's, it's like, you know, when, when you think in terms of awards, this is the most important when it comes to songwriting. It's also the most important for artists, believe it or not. They all know that. This is where it's built, man. It's all about songs. In this, in this room this afternoon, you'll see people, the greatest songwriters of all time, that don't show up to other award ceremonies, that come here to be with their peers and to celebrate everyone's work. It's a real fraternity. And now you've been involved with the Rising Star Award category for several years now. How does it feel to be able to nurture these new songwriters in an institution like this? It's fantastic. I, I only wish that, uh, you know, that we weren't in the time of COVID and that we could actually spend more time together. In the very beginning, it was great. And then all of a sudden, wham, we now have to do everything you know, electronically and long distance, but it's it's still wonderful. It's a really, it's it's a great program. It's a great effort, and I think it's going to turn out an, an amazing crop of songwriters. But yesterday was an amazing day at Abbey oh Road. Nile had literally every one of the rising stars except for Pink Panthers with us because Pink Panthers is sadly on tour. But Ashani, Naomi, Matilda, all these young women, really powerful Luz. songwriters. Luz, really Great. powerful songwriters that, that uh, you know, they came in. At first it was like, oh my God, we're in Abbey Road with Nile Rodgers. But Next before you know. knew it, there was five songs on the go. Right. And Pink Panthers is, of course, your mentee this year, isn't she? Yes, yes. And she's just had a phenomenal year, hasn't she, musically speaking? I mean, she's just exploded so quick. She's amazing. I mean, I, I think that she's not only the future, but she's so right now. I mean, she's really, really, really happening. I'm very proud of her. I mean, you know, she was doing so well even before she could play any live shows. There was just so much of a buzz. What do you think is going to be, you know, the next big thing for her coming forward? <laughs> I think, you know, look, the, the songs just keep getting better and better, right? That's, that's really what it's about. It's, you know, are you... The word maturing is not right, but, you know, every time an artist comes with something that is better than the last thing that they did, they escalate and they elevate and you know she did amazing work with Muramasa who's a great friend of ours that we love but you know she's just going to get better and better you can feel it that momentum exists for a reason and that, it all comes from her well thank you both very much i hope you enjoy the rest of the ivers thank you so much